Is there any clear evolutionary explanation for why different eye colors have emerged? Why, why is what, you know, what's the advantage of brown iris versus blue? Yeah, it's a protection from UV light and from, from visible light. And in the same way, the different skin tones have emerged. I so see. typically you see dark eyed people closer people to the equator, closer, clustered closer to the equator because you know, the visible light and UV light and infrared light or infrared radiation are really destructive. And as you might remember, this is one of the few things that people remember from medical school about the retina, but it's one of the most metabolically active tissues in the body, if not the most metabolically active tissue. And because it's constantly being bombarded with radiation effectively, it's prone to free radical formation. Mm. So the what's called the retinal pigment epithelium, which is the pigmented layer behind the retina, underneath the retina, that is responsible from sh for shielding the vascular supply behind the retina from all of this radiation. Because that, that vascular network behind the retina has a very high oxygen tension and it would be prone to pre free radical formation if it were constantly being bombarded by UV light, infrared radiation, visible light. And that's why you see in people near the equator more pigment. And that's also true of the iris as well. This podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of medicine, nursing, or other professional healthcare services, including the giving of medical advice. No doctor patient relationship is formed. The use of this information and the materials linked to this podcast is at the user's own risk. The content on this podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice from any medical condition they have, and they should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions. Finally, I take conflicts of interest very seriously. For all of my disclosures and the companies I invest in or advise, please visit peteratiamd.com forward slash about, where I keep an up-to-date and active list of such companies.